Okay, so we're driving to Alabama, and uh, we've all seen Casey Neistat interviewing Logan Paul on YouTube. Zach is fresh off of a 30-minute watch straight through. Just under that. So I forgot it was 30 minutes when I told you to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's 30 minutes. I was, like, Whoa. I was like, hey, just watch it real quick, and then I was like, 10 minutes, and I was like, oh, I forgot yeah. he was here. Honestly. <laughs> Wait, so, who are you? Who is that? <laughs> I finished it. You like jump. <laughs> so we're gonna react to it. Um, thoughts, uh, opinions. Uh, what do you think, Jordan? Like, do you think Zach? Like, let's fart. The hot seat. Um, let's fart. Do you first? Let's fart. <laughs> yeah, let's fart. Uh, do you think Casey should have done this? I think if I don't know if I think he was probably the best person to do it. Um, and like I understand like people are mad at him about it but I don't feel like he was necessarily biased one way or the other like if anything I think he obviously was more like thought Logan was kind of stupid but yeah I don't I feel like it was pretty well balanced I mean I would have been a little bit harder on him if it was me but you know it's Casey Neistat so he knows better than me but Jordan <laughs> yeah you're Jordan <laughs> which Jordan <laughs> Mr. Jordan! <laughs> I told him, I was like, well, I've already called him Jordan like yeah. four times. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait till we go across the bridge here. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright now. Mr. Jordan, okay. Zach. Zach. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. I think that he was, he was probably, uh, it's hard to, okay. I'm not with Logan Paul in the least bit in the slightest at all. Like what he did was wrong and dumb. I'm happy that Casey asked the questions because, like, anything that you've seen from Logan has been from his channel. He's, of course, edited it, said what he wanted to say, and it honestly all seems like a fluff piece or, like, you know, ah, oh, I need to, you know, get back my money or yeah. get back my views so I can get back my money. Um, so that was, like, I felt like it was mainly, I'm sorry, I want my money, please, please accept my apology. Um, but, I feel like I can't, I honestly cannot tell if it was like sincere or insincere at all. It was kind of hard to tell. That's. I think what kind of really ruined it for me was like at the very end where he like plugs the fight and his merch in like yes. the same sentence, and I was like, uh -huh. "Dude, stop! What are you doing?" I love how he beat it out. That was amazing. I know, yeah, but still, I was like, "Yeah, oh, come on, man, don't ruin it." Like, yeah. I mean, you're already in enough trouble as it is. Like, I think he's probably just trying just to looks, fun, though. Yeah, I know, but like in that context, he just looked really scummy. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think I told Zach this earlier, but I think Casey was the only person that could yeah. say those things to Logan. Yeah. Um, I, I think that Logan's agent and uh, Logan's you know directors in Hollywood, people in the business, could say it to Logan. I don't think he would listen. Because the one moment that stood out for me was when Casey kept telling Logan like. I don't think that living on the edge means being disrespectful. Yeah. And Logan right. literally was like, it's really hard to hear that from you. Mm -hmm. Or something. He said something like, it's really hard to hear, it's hear, hard to that, hear that Yeah. when I think I've done the right thing. And I think, I think in that moment, Logan's body language told me that he was actually hearing that for the first time. Yeah. Maybe someone had told it to you before, but he wasn't listening. I think he was actually hearing that for the first time and it was actually penetrating his skull. Yeah. Um, and I hope his skull gets really beaten up like I'm really excited <laughs> to see KSI and Logan fight I probably won't watch it like pay-per-view like I'm not gonna spend money on it but the press conferences have been funny but I just think like Walmart yeah I just think like uh like I said Casey was the only person that could say those things and Casey said those things mm -hmm. and I mean I like that Casey is doing this type of stuff like the YouTube CEO and um yeah. the uh there's another CEO he interviewed but I think that I hope that Logan heard those things and takes them to heart and understands that Casey's living life on the edge and still accomplishing things mm -hmm. as right. opposed to just doing things that he feels like are yeah. fun, you know. And Logan has so many like kids like that are just like in all struck by him. Yeah. So they're like no matter what he does, he's always going to be right. So if he starts doing really good things, it's going to be great. Yeah, it could be a huge impact. Yeah. I think that was the thing that stood out to me watching this interview was Logan showed a dead body to his audience. Yeah. And his audience is the most impressionable audience in the world. Yeah, they're kids. And yeah. that is the part that it, like made me real. Like, I knew it was a bad thing, but this was the first time I actually put it in context. Like, oh, that's how bad it was. Like, it was yeah. really bad. Mm -hmm. So, cool. 
about that. All right. This thing about well, like how he said humor is like a mask when he feels like vulnerable or yeah. whatever he was saying. Like that was kind of interesting to me. Yeah. I don't know if. I mean, I like in a sense like you know like when you're caught in a sit- like an awkward situation and like you don't know what to do. So like sometimes you crack a joke. Yeah. Like I, I know that, I yeah. know I do that, mm-hmm. but I think most people when they see like if they were to see a dead body in the forest they'd know okay shut it off like we're done and Casey yeah, but Casey pointed out the fact that they filmed the intro saying you've never seen this on YouTube before so they obviously yeah. filmed the intro after they saw the body yeah, and they yeah. were pumped that they were uh-huh. going to get it also what do you expect when you're going into a suicide forest right like, yeah right you're going for the clickbait yeah. um, you're going for the views and when they saw the dead body, they were like, yes, even more views. Right. Um, so that's probably 100% what they all were thinking. And when he was like, I was, you know, I was awestruck, but I, you know, I said jokes to like, you know. Mask my mom. Mask my, you know, like sadness. Yeah. When my mom yeah. dies, I'm not going to be like joking at the right. funeral. Right. You know? I feel like that excuse doesn't work in every situation. No. Like maybe like when it's awkward, like. Um, like if you, I don't know, you spill your drink in front of like. Yeah. I don't know. Something, something yeah. stupid. You bump into someone and at Walmart. innocent like that. Yeah. Yeah. Or you have like, yeah, like you spill your nachos all over your shirt. Yeah. You know, yeah. There, there's where you joke, not whenever you see a dead guy chilling in the woods. Okay. So here's the only other thing I want to ask before we end the video. Do you think this, I don't care about Logan's brand. Do you think this hurt Casey's brand or helped him? Because you were just saying before we turned it on. Yeah. 27 dislikes uh, or 23, uh, yeah. Thousand. Right. So it's like halfway, like almost. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's not like Casey was on there being soft on him or anything. Like, no. so I don't see why people would hate on Casey. I think Casey had good intentions with it, uh, but at the same time, he probably there was a part of him that knew that it would get a lot of views. And, but I don't think it hurt him. He didn't monetize it. So yeah, that yeah. shows that he's not, you know. I don't think it's gonna hurt. I think Casey's too well respected. Yeah. yeah. Well liked, and I think I understand why there's like probably a select group of people that would be mad about this. But I think as a whole, his fans are probably like they understood the intent behind the video and yeah. respect that. I was flipping through the con uh, the comments, and a majority of them were all um, like like support and saying, you know, I would have been probably harder on him. Casey was pretty hard. I liked. I yeah. think he did it good. Um, but. Like, there was the few comments where, like, they were, like, you could tell they were, like, Casey fans. They're like, wow, I never thought I'd ever dislike, uh, like, a Casey video and, you know, going off on him, how he's, like, supporting or enabling Logan Paul. Right. Um, but he just asked him questions. It's not like he was like, yeah, check out his merch, you know? Like, he wasn't yeah. in support of Logan Paul. Yeah. I agree. I don't think it hurt Casey at all. I mean, yeah. you guys have said it. It shouldn't hurt Casey. It yeah. shouldn't. No, I think he Hopefully asked. It and I think because he asked those questions, that's why it didn't hurt him. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't, like, it, it was a totally, you notice Casey was on with Will Smith earlier this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a totally different tone of video. Yeah. That's a good video. You know, if Casey had done that with Logan Paul, then you'd be like, whoa, 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 wait. Yeah, he's yeah. not, like, taking him through his studio. No, no, stuff. he's asking him hard questions. And I, so. I think it was, wasn't it even Logan Paul that reached out to him first and yeah. asked him? Yeah. And then he said, I'll do the, I'll do the interview if you do the interview. Yeah. So it yeah. wasn't like Casey initiated it. Right. Yeah. Okay, well, that'll close it from the road. Hopefully, you can hear all of that. Yeah.